India's Solar Man is on the move. Chetan Solanki got the nickname when he taught over one million students to build solar lamps. For the last two years, the IIT professor has been on a yatra, or journey across India, traveling in a solar-powered bus. Okay, so what is the solution? What is the solution? What is the solution? What is the solution? Solar education plan? Is that a solution? His mission to educate the public on renewable energy and climate change. So far, he has covered 20 states and over 300,000 kilometers, and he plans to keep going till 2030. I started in 2020. 2030 is the Sustainable Development Goals target of the whole world, and I thought it is very nicely aligned. It cannot be done in, as I said, part and parcel. So I decided for 11 years I will not go home and the bus, my Energy Swaraj Yatra bus is my home for 11 years, it's going to be my home. Well, I believe that uh, people will understand, you know, because if they will not understand by the knowledge, but they will understand by the disastrous uh, events that we are going to face and we are facing. So one way or other people will understand and I believe and I hope that uh, by the end of my yatra there will be good success uh, on the impacting the efforts that world is making towards solving the problem of climate change. Chetan Solanki is a solar energy specialist and professor at the nation's prestigious Indian Institute of Technology or IIT in Mumbai. But today, his bus has taken him to the National Institute of Technology, Kurukshetra, 180 kilometers from Delhi, where he's talking to students about the ongoing climate disaster and the need to switch to solar immediately. Silicon is the second largest material available on Earth, second largest. I keep saying that climate is not changing, you know, climate has changed. And the impact of that we could see in our own life. Change is taking place so fast, it is accelerating. And what we are seeing in our own life is that there are heat waves, you know, the entire country has experienced the heat wave and then, then there are floods in Assam, you know, 50 lakh people getting affected and uh, the water not subsiding for 15, 20 days. We need to drastically and immediately change ourselves. What we need to change? We need to change the pattern of energy usage. Because the whole problem has been caused because of the use of carbon-based energy. And I believe strongly that this problem will only be solved if we switch our base from carbon-based energy to solar-based energy, 100%, not 99%. India is one of the few countries in the world where environmental education is compulsory in school. Yet, in a 2022 Yale study, about 54% of Indians confess to having little or no knowledge of global warming. This is something Solanki wants to change. Well, the awareness is there about the climate change, that something is changing, but it's a very superficial level. You know? They do not understand uh, in really detail what is happening. And is it because of the climate change? Is it uh, because of the global temperature rise? But everybody feels that things have changed. You know? Normally when we talk about the climate change, it is always presented at a very top level thing. Like there's a Paris Agreement and there's a global temperature rise and CO2 emissions are rising and all this thing. I think we need to start narrating the climate change and its related issue at the ground level in their own language. In the manner that we could demonstrate that it is their own life it is, it is getting affected. I think then this action will also be more stronger and more real action. Though Solanki has undertaken a solo journey, others have also embarked on a climate-friendly and solar-dependent lifestyle to save the planet. Our survival is solar energy. The center of our existence is solar energy. Nonetheless, there will be many challenges for India to overcome to achieve 500 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2030. From supply chain problems, to infrastructure, to public education. In the meantime, 
the solar man of India continues his quest, convincing his countrymen of his vision, one stop at a time. The use of solar energy or renewable energy is not a matter of choice, you know. It is an emergency and like we, we have an emergency, we do everything possible and adopt it right now, immediately, 100%. Because global warming is approaching very fast and the climate change is going to become irreversible very fast. So, it's not a matter of choice. It is the question of survivability. It's